Hello and welcome to episode 4 of my Time at Porsche tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on gathering resources and items in the abandoned ruins. But before that, um, leaving off from the last episode, it's getting late and I really ought to get some sleep because my stamina is drained. Also, I might as well use up the last bit of my stamina on gathering. Um, I don't want to fill my pockets up. Um, let's quickly go into my house and put down my builder license in a corner. You'll remember why from a previous episode, but I'll remind you just in case. If you pull it in a corner, then when you go to zoom in like that, it shows a close up, otherwise you're looking at it like that. So yeah, that's cool. Notice my workshop level is D. I'm as low as you can go. Um, right, and I still need to fix this stuff up. I've got the resources. Forgot all about this. I'll sleep better and get more stamina back by doing this. Oh, short by 10 wood. Oh well. So yeah, I won't get as much stamina back as if the place was nice and repaired. Do I need to repair these? It's been so long since I started at the beginning. Um, no, let's just sleep. I need to get to the abandoned ruins. And please do bear in mind that that's the only time you can save the game. <clears throat> so, excuse me. If you make a mistake... Ah, my head hurts. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. Oh, for goodness sake. Stop your whining. Uh, see, it didn't fully regenerate my stammer stamina it nearly did though because there's only a little bit left to repair uh, like I was saying at the beginning of each day is when when you sleep in your bed is it saves the game for you now that's something very important to bear in mind when you go to start doing commissions what you should do is when you get up the commerce guild does not open until nine o'clock I think so you, you've got just a little bit time to waste before it opens when you start doing commissions. So what I suggest is you feed your animals, feed the fish, whatever you've got, do that. And as soon as it gets near to the t time that the, t the t uh, Commerce Guild opens, you, go, you get there. Because that other nasty fellow, Higgins, he is just a nasty scumbag, uh, he will go there and grab the best bricks before you can. So, oh, it's from 8 till 8. So here you go, look, it's opened now. If I was in a position to get the these jobs, I would quickly go to the board before he does, look for my favourite person of the moment, see what they're asking for, free shell necklaces. Won't be able to do that yet. So if I took this by mistake, if I accepted it and then found I couldn't make it, bear in mind you then have to go back to loading in from when you get up and then you can come back and check them again what's he want bookshelves not sure if I could do them Petra what do you what would you like a glass we need sand to make sand we need a furnace or forge I think I might be able to do that got five days but I want to get it done this day where do I get sand from the beach I think not sure if I should accept that I'll do it anyway we'll see so yeah there we go now if I've got that incorrect so let's say I go to to craft this what she wants which is um, the glass five glass I'd have to go down to the beach and get the glass, the sand. Or can 
steal it from the abandoned ruins. Let's see. Because this is where I'm supposed to be going. But when you first wake up, get yourself to the Commerce Guild for 8 o'clock sharp and get in before Higgins. Hey there. First time ruin diving? Yep. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee, but we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mine in for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Now that is not strictly true. Because you get a sub-instance in there. Like you'll find what looks to be like a big tankard. A big, um, like the fertilizing barrel. The big, um... And inside it will be creatures that you can fight to get treasure. So that is not strictly true. But there's nothing hostile that will attack us unless we go into one of the sub-instances. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. So there we go. we got to pay a fee whenever you go in here. And the fee will last for a week, I believe. And then you have to pay the fee again. It's all good, my friends, because you'll be making much more than you'll be spending. And it's only cheap. It gets more expensive the more advanced the ruins that you're diving in. So 20 goals we can easily afford. Uh, do you want to spend 20 goals to switch to another area of the abandoned ruins? Your current progress. Yeah, so actually, that f I've paid the fee already. Um, or I'm going to get charged it when I go in. What this is doing, actually, this is an elevator. So it would take us to a different, a deeper spot in the ruins. We don't need that yet. Because we haven't, like harvested out this first level so we're going here here we go here's the payment so 80 goals for a weekly pass that's fine nothing's free except for the local Porsche times okay so here we go a little mining tutorial aim the rescue at a position you want to dig then press the left mouse button simple stuff uh, press the F key to scan for relics uh, nearby relics will show up as globes of light. Align the reticle on the globe of light for a few moments to detect and lock onto the position of the relic. I've shown you that already. Press and hold the space bar to fire the jetpack and then use the movement control. So that's really cool. I didn't show that, did I? M me bad. Open the map and press the E key to return. I've shown that. Right, so here we go in a fresh ruin that's not been all scarred and dug out by me yet um, if I press the F key I'll do a scan and there's a little golden globe if I move the reticule you see and that's all it's doing is telling us where it is it's not telling us what it is it's not even showing us yet what it looks like. I think that's the next upgrade shows us the outline of what, what it is. But we that's all we got to work with. <laughs> but you know what? It's good because we got a lot of mining to do. So I need to press the F key again. It will keep that on the lock. And now I'm free to mine. Well, if I choose the right tool, I am. Got to keep my eye on my stamina, the yellow bar. Use it all up. Nothing but bed for you. Now, what would make sense is, now that I've gained that point, to go to my character and select the gather, stamina costs decrease by 25%. Not a great deal, but it's a quarter better. So we'll do that and apply. So there we go, we've got 25% being saved. The next rank, however, it will decrease by 50%. Well worth investing in. So I'm going to do these two first. Then I'm going to start having some fun. Well, I'm having fun now, but I mean fun, fun. Uh, right, okay, let's not get distracted. Um, so now, when I mine, it won't cost.
cost me so much. Of course, I'm going to need stone as well. And it would be nice if we can get to that, whatever it is. I really do enjoy this because it's like a magical mystery tour. You, you don't know what you're going to get. But it's going to be good, whatever it is. Oh, look at that. We got mysterious data disk. What is this? I remember Remington. There's just no way I was going to read that. You can. You can pause it. That's great. Um, so talk with Lee about the data disk. That's one option. Behind door one, talk to Lee. But there is another door you can step behind. Let's see if it mentions it. Because on my first time I played, I, I, you know, I just went with that and realised actually there's another side to it. So you can do Lee, or you can go to the research centre. So the choice is yours. So maybe we can do both. Anyway, all right, so we'll look into that. That's the next episode, a mysterious data disk. Getting back to this, that was one item we got. Let's keep looking, because we're not finished yet. There's tons and tons of items for us to find. chest <clears throat> power stone stone and old parts yep we're gonna need old parts we're gonna need power stones so it's all good right let's do another scan so what you do is you scan for items and then mine to them that way you're getting the resources as you go see so I'm getting stone mm. oh, I'm getting sand so I can do that right I've got to make sure I keep enough stamina so that is cool. Yeah, you get sand then from the abandoned ruins. So that means I can do my glass, five glass. Keep my eye on the time, because if you make it too late, the person will go to the commission guild will shut, and then you can't do the hand in. <coughs> and you want to do one every day. enough resources for now I want to go do that glass commission because uh, it's midday already so remember we do the M key to bring up the map and then E to get back to the entrance one pro tip about the any of the abandoned ruins if I didn't have a commission to do and I had the rest of the day free to me without any limitations of having to do commissions or anything like that I would stay in the mine until all my stamina runs out and I fall over and fall asleep one it saves you walking back to your base because when you fall asleep you wake up in your bed so it teleports you there automatically it doesn't and you don't have to oh, I've got so many things going on in my mind I'm chasing her yeah I am she's quite cute Emily but I need to stick with the plan which is, I could read that mail, but I'm not going to do that yet. I need to do this commission. So we need sand. For the sand, I think I need the stone furnace. I still need to move that house. Um, let's put it here. So, okay, to place it, we select the stone furnace. It shows an outline of where it's going to put it on the ground. And then left click. Bosh. There we go. We've got a stone furnace. Now, if we do craft, we can choose sand. Um, but we're going to need wood for fuel and I've only got four wood so I don't know if that's enough 
So let's go chop a little bit of wood quickly. See, that's why I saved stamina because you need stamina. It's precious. You can get some though. Uh, your stamina topped up through meals, but you need money. And I don't have a lot at the moment. So I want to get just enough wood, really. See if I can get this commission before the timer goes. Oh, look at that, another level, isn't it? Lovely. More hit points, more stamina, attack, defense, and a skill point to spend. Right, let's see if we can do... What was I doing? Oh, glass. No, furnace. Fuel. <laughs> get there in the end. Right, there you go. I like to fill it up. And we can do 21. But it's going to take time to craft it, you see. Not done instantly. No, is that all I can make? No. So, I need... Oh, it's so late, and yet I'm trying to work this out. So I've done two, that means I need three more. Three, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. So I need twenty-four sand. I've got to head back quick. It's not a wasted journey because that sand will take time to create. And so I can go back up here and hopefully get twenty-four more sand. Don't even know if I've got enough stamina. You see on the minimap the icons, you can get totally distracted. time to half two I don't know if I'm gonna do this I got I've got a time going I've got like the day ticking by I got my stamina going down it's all against me you know at the moment everything is against me Do the EQ, I haven't got time to waste. Yeah, strict rule of thumb when you get a commission, you do the commission first. You don't go off swanning off to the abandoned ruins to have fun mining resources. You just you you have the resources ready previously and then you go do the commission you don't waste time time is not on your side so furnace sand you want more sand how much have we done glass so we can do craft we can bump it up we can confirm that and it just adds to it So we've got plenty of fuel but it's going to take 15 hours so option B make another second furnace stone furnace and a third stone furnace do I have enough to do that I need wood I need 10 wood isn't it I'm not going to have enough it's all against me so I need let's do enough to 20 wood and 20 stone stone I need wood. Right, let's quickly get busy. Oh, there's icons and people and everything I've got to talk to everywhere. I just don't have time. My stamina's getting low. Would we got 24? That's enough. 
Oh, there's the timer. Right, okay, let's just go a little over. I'm sure you can forgive me that. Okay, so what we need to do is st two stone stools, because remember they're needed for the furnace. One and two, well we want two. Notice that this does stuff items instantly, whereas some of your workbenches do it over time, like the furnace furnaces. Uh, right now we want to go to here, and we want one of these. things loaded so we want wood and we want the two stone stalls. I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. The, the gamester don't do quick, you know this. There's one. Put them on there. Yeah, we got so little space. So little precious space. Oh, is this gonna look a mess? Alright. This place is gonna look a mess. Five more time, perhaps I could do something about that. Right, so craft. I'm gonna cancel that. Uh, is working, but it's okay. You can start over. See, so you get the sand back, and I'm gonna now craft two. Still haven't got enough time. I need to do another one. Oh, I haven't got enough fuel. <laughs> it's all definitely against me. One. See, one takes three hours. Let's get some more wood. Oh, she's not. Oh, they're not. I'm getting distracted. It's in this chest. Oh, so many things you can do, really. <laughs> oh, I can't waste stamina on stone. I need wood. Timer's gone. Uh, right, okay, timer's gone. I'm getting carried away. I'm going to end the episode. We'll carry on in the next episode from this point. And it will be called Commerce Commission. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.